uh, film industry in Jordan and uh, we've basically spent that time researching and driving the routes that are being used today on the, uh, on the Dead Sea Trek. Um, as part of the brief, as I mentioned before, we're reinforcing the off-road capability of the vehicle. So I've been looking for very, very demanding trails um, to take the cars over. Um, we've looked for trails that are going to be challenging for the vehicles, but also challenging for the drivers. Um, and I'm looking for a variety of terrain to make sure that uh, we can give a, a broad spectrum of, of, uh, of routes for the vehicles to drive over. Um, <clears throat> here we've got a, a lot to cope with, they're all on standard road tyres, so um, the uh, terrain itself doesn't really lend itself to being driven on those kind of tyres, but uh, with the fact that the, uh, the, the electronics on the vehicles uh, work so well and you can drive them really slowly over the terrain, it means that hopefully we can manage to do most of the trips without uh, bursting too many tyres. Um, weather's hot here, so uh, there's always the problem that people are driving the vehicles with their windows up all the time. And when we're out the cars trying to instruct you, um, sometimes we need to get the windows down and get people looking out the vehicles, finding out where the, where the back end of the car is going, and making sure that uh, they're not damaging the tyres or not dropping back wheels into big holes and washouts. Part of the route is taken in uh, one of the special stages on the uh, Jordan WRC Rally um, and the reason for it that we did that was it gave um, some good sections where we can get the, the vehicles on some uh, good gravel roads with some reasonable speeds and hopefully the, the drivers driving within the road capabilities will actually get a feeling of some of the ESP systems in the vehicles cutting in on some of the corners. Um, obviously we don't want people to drive too fast but we also want to be able to show, show them that uh, the passive safety systems in the vehicle are there and working and uh, I'm sure some of the drivers found that out on some of the corners on the, the special stage. Um, from a safety perspective that's really really important in an event like this and we've got all the vehicles with radios in them. Um, and we're able to communi communicate with e each and every driver, giving them information about what's on the route, uh, where they're going, what to watch out for, um, and, in, and in some sections where we're going over technical bits, if it's not too difficult, uh, myself and Carl tend to sit in the car and watch what's happening through the mirror, uh, but still be able to guide you over the radio. كان اختيار مرسيدس لمواقع لم تطأها عجلات سيارة أو حتى قدم إنسان في المناطق المحيطة بالبحر الميت في وادي الأردن موفقا فقد شملت المنطقة كل الصعوبات التي قد تواجه أي صائق وعليه تألقت مرسيدس بفئاتها الأربع وأثبتت قدرة رائعة على التحكم بالمركبة على أقصى المنحدرات وأكثرها وعورا The interesting thing about the Dead Sea Track also is that uh, I believe it's the first time that Mercedes-Benz, even worldwide, uh, is doing uh, this event involving all four Mercedes-Benz SUVs. So it's not only the G-Class, where everybody knows the off-road capability. It's not only the seven-seater GL, it's not only the ML, but also the GLK, our compact SUV. And uh, nobody believes, nobody would have believed, now they do, uh, the off-road capability of that uh, that vehicle. في كنا صاروا يقولوا إنه طيب شو GL class و و GLK و ML كتره بس إنه إذا واحد بيجي بيسوقن كلهم كل واحدة لحالها بيختبرها أكيد محكينا عن G class أنا G class تاريخ 30 سنة صار له تقريبا ولحد حالا بعضهم عم بيعملوها هوليك السيارات تلاتة مزبوط اللي هو العالم يفكرون هن الزيتون بس كل شيء different technique different كل شيء سواء do a lot of uh, car uh, events and this is different in the sense that is the, the route that they've um, chosen is absolutely fantastic. It's, it's, it's really, really uh, challenging on, on the vehicles and, uh, and it, the, the scenery is uh, amazing. Uh, as a photographer, I mean, I couldn't, 
I couldn't ask for a better uh, backdrop for the pictures. It was also uh, an excellent track. Uh, we had also uh, uh, very, 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 very good corners and blind, uh, blind corners uh, between the mountains, and uh, we went through valleys, waters. We had all uh, all uh, conditions on the roads, and uh, the special thing about this event was that uh, to experience uh, each uh, each SUV. <laughs> عن جد اكسبيرينس لازم كل واحد يجربها لانه هول السيارات ما حدا بيعرف قيمتهم الا اللي بسوقهم صراحه جميل في الموضوع التنوع الطرقات اللي مشينا فيها بين طرقات حصويه ورمليه وطرقات اسفلتيه السيارات المرسيدس بالفعل انه اثبتت انه سياره فظيعه وما في عندها مشاكل من اي هيئه بروريس قدرات رباعيه اثبتت اليوم انها قدرات عاليه بس قالوا لنا الاردن كنا عارفين سبيشلي بالبحر الميت it's one of the best events uh, Mercedes-Benz has, has hosted in the, in the Middle East. It's a great experience. It's a experience that we hope for all the companies, from Audi, from BMW, to do this story. It's really 100% off-roading. It was the most important part of the people who came to this event on a daily basis. They enjoyed all the people who were in the car of Arab Motors. بتجربة القيادة الفريدة التي أثبتت للكل أن مرسيدس بنز تفوقت في مجال الدفع الرباعي وفي مجال السيارات الرياضية كتفوقها في المجال الكلاسيكي والفاخر. Watch Arab Motors TV for the latest Mercedes-Benz news coming in 2010.